students. Today we're going to build a quiz app. The quiz is going to focus on questions about uh, CS innovators from throughout history. Uh, your final app will look something like this if you are testing it in your browser. I know it doesn't look quite as good as it would on a phone, but easy to show you what it, what it does. So you're going to have a couple items here. You'll notice a, a image and a question and a couple buttons and a text input. So if we answer this correctly, this is Grace Hopper and we answer it, it'll tell us that we did well. If we answer incorrectly, it'll tell us that we got it wrong. And the picture, the question, and the answer essentially list will move at the same time. Let's start coding it. First thing we need to do is build our user interface. First thing we do is drag out an image component. Put it in the middle. We'll set it to Grace Hopper. And we're gonna make it a little bigger. So we'll do it, put the absolute height to 250, maybe width also to 250. Um, we're gonna bring down a label, put it down here. Oh, that's the wrong thing. We need actually a label. What am I doing here? And we gotta put it under, and it went above, so we'll drag it back under. And this label is going to be the question label, and this is where question uh, for whatever our quiz question is will come up. The, we can leave the text here just so we know where it is. Uh, we need to uh, set some margins on it so that it's not right up against everything. So we'll go top 20, bottom 20. Alrighty. Uh, we'll need another label under it. So let's grab out another label. And we'll have to drag it back down. And this will be, call this one the answer label. And this will tell us whether our Answer is right or wrong. Put on the answer label, and we don't actually need to change the text there. And then we need to add a row component because we're going to put a couple components together, and we want them to be all vertical together. So we get uh, rather horizontal. So we'll go row, pull it back under there, and we want to set the height to the absolute height, absolute size height to 50. Okay, there we go. Uh, we want another label, our third label. We're going to put that on top. That's when we do one on top. And this is the index label. And what this will allow us to do is it will always allow us to know the value of the index label, which can be really helpful in debugging the app if it doesn't work quite right. We want to know where um, where we are when we're navigating through our lists. We're going to have to add a couple buttons now. So button, first button here, pull it into the row. And we'll call this button the it's the answer label. So this would be our answer button. So when we click this button, we'll be able to check and see if our answer is correct. We'll change the text there. So then we want another button right next to it. And we'll call this one the next button. So when we press this button, we'll be able to go to the next question and the next picture. We we'll change the text. And the last part of our user interface we need to build is we need a text input. And that's where the user will type in their answer. We'll drag that in here. And it's a little big, so let's change the relative size to 50. Alrighty, it's the first part of the CS Innovators Quiz app. Um, check back uh, for the next.